Derek Pender, Bohemians captain, or maybe I should say now ex-captain, because you've uh, you've made the decision to hang up the boots. Yeah, yeah, I have. It wasn't uh, wasn't obviously easy, you know. You don't think this time is ever going to come, and but look, it's the time is right for me to to pack it in. What did you have to think about? What, what were the the factors in the making of your decision? Just everything, really. You know, it's like we've had an unbelievable season. The journey the club has been on since I've been here. Um, it's been amazing, really, the turnaround and everything that the club has done and where we've come from, from back when I signed. I just thought, you know, great season, Europe. We got Europe and I'm getting on now, you know what I mean? I've found it tough in a couple of games this year and I thought maybe this, the time is right. Why have you found it tough? Is that down to you know, maybe the pace of players you're coming up against? or? Yeah, probably. <laughs> they do seem to be getting younger and quicker and stronger <laughs> now, but it's probably my age as well that it's, uh, that's caught, caught up on me. But... Um, yeah, no, look, I think it's, it's, I've enjoyed it. It's been an unbelievable experience playing here. And, you know, being captain of this club has just been the, the proudest, proudest moments for me. It's funny because watching you and Joey O'Brien, I would, I would have compared the two of you watching this season. Mm. And even though maybe you don't have the legs of some of the younger players that, that are attacking against you, mm. it's just the fact that you and Joey read the game so well. I haven't seen you really struggle in the last few matches, especially, which have been crucial for, for Bohemians. Yeah. Yeah, no, I haven't. I don't felt I've struggled, uh, especially not in the last few games. But like, um, you know, over the course of the season and considering everything, and look, at we've got we've got unbelievable young players coming through, and it's you, you can't hold them back any longer. Like, you know, you got the like Andy Lyons will come in, and mm -hmm. hopefully he stays at the club, and you know, he's he's, he's a he's a very good player. So um, yeah, no, I don't feel a struggle. It's just it's just one of those things. Time catches you, you know, and it's a sad day, really. You still, I would imagine, have a lot to offer from a coaching perspective. I'm sure you've, well, from what I've heard anyway, you've been very good with the young players in the dressing room this season. Mm. Um, so is that the next step now is to move into coaching here with Keith and Trevor? Yeah, yeah. hopefully. Look, I haven't, we haven't really spoke about it or thought about it really. Uh, I've only ever thought about playing and that's what I said to Keith last week and was telling him about it. Well, if he knows it a while now, but I've never thought about not playing. So I've yeah. always, you know, I'll obviously start thinking about coaching now and I'll sit down with him next week and see what I can do and hopefully I can do something that's relevant to us, you know. I think uh, former Irish captain Robbie Keane just told Mick McCarthy you want to be on the coaching staff. Maybe you should just tell Keith that's what you want. Yeah, maybe I will. <laughs> I will, I tell you, because I don't know what it's going to be like not to be uh, training every day. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, that's going to be, like, what, what will you miss most then about the playing? I'm not sure yet, to be honest with you, because obviously, look, we've got another game tomorrow night and I want to yeah. win that game. We have a great chance of finishing towards, you know, so, you know, the timing of this is, wasn't my choice really, you know, yeah. it's, it's just the way it's happened, but um, look how we want to win tomorrow night and I, I don't know what I'm going to miss to be honest with you, I'll see when it, when it stops, like, you know, I'll miss the lads, I'll miss the dressing room, it's going to be tough. Yeah, I think that's what most players say when they, when they mm -hmm. give up the game. Um, the season as a whole, like I asked Eddie Corcoran there at the start of the season, you know, a lot of people, and understandably so, were kind of predicting that Bohemians will be in a relegation battle. When you look at the way Keith had to put a team together over the closed season, as players yourselves, what what did you what was your your best expectation from this season? Look, when we come in, Keith didn't give us any expectation. He he just you know he, he tells us at the start of every year like the, there's no limits on our squad. Like especially with the players he brings in, he trusts everybody. You know he gives them so much confidence in themselves. And obviously he got his recruitment right last year. We didn't know the players he brought in, and they hit the ground running at the start of the season. Look, we were all fearful. We didn't know we were going into a bit of unknown with some of the lads, but. And fans, they've been immense, you know. We've, we've, they, like, we've got the best goalkeeper in the league, and James Tauber, who's, I can't believe he's not in the PFEI team of the year, really, to be honest with you. So, but, look, that's another thing. But, you know, they've been really, really good, and we've got a bit of luck along the way, which you need, and thankfully we've had a good season. When the team started training, the squad started training at the start of the season, when you saw the likes of James Talbot, you know, Danny Mandroyo, I think, uh, we're told his pronunciation is, he, I heard him on a podcast during the week, um, the likes of you know Connor Levingston, and um, these guys, James Finley. When you saw all these players in training first, what what was your kind of thinking? Did you think these guys are good enough to to get us through the season? Oh yeah, of course. Like when like when they start, I didn't know any of the lads. Keith knew them. Keith was telling me about them, telling me how good they are. And then when we started training, you could see straight away the quality in Dano, you know, and how good James Tabo was and Level himself. Like when he's like he's been immense for us this year. You know, so consistent. You know, he's been out the last few weeks, but. Everybody, all the young lads that come in from the 19s, Dawson, Ross Tierney, everybody's contributed this year in our squad. Like, there's nobody that hasn't, and that's the that's the best thing about it. Like, it's it's a great group and great togetherness. And there's been a couple of players obviously involved with the under 21s Irish setup as well. 
How important do you think that is as well for the younger players to see that they've got a pathway into the international setup, you know, through a club like Bohemians? Yeah, it's 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 massive, really, isn't it? Like you know, these Dara and Danny have done, done so well. There's a couple of other players that could have got, like Danny Grant is at the getting in now, and mm. Danny's been brilliant the last second part of the season, you know. Uh, for younger players coming, there's no other place to be. I don't think other than here, especially with a manager like Keith and a coach like Trevor, they give you every chance. How would you describe if somebody who didn't know Bohemians and, and were coming to see them for the first time? How would you describe the way Keith Long and Trevor Crowley set the team? And what's their philosophy? How do they play football? Oh, it's intense, yeah. They, they, like the, the pace, it's frantic. You know, we want they want us to get after teams. You know, there's never a dull moment in the team. We work really so it demands that we work so hard for each other togetherness as well and then if you walk into Daily Mount for the first time I don't think you know it won't be a first time you'll be coming back again. How important has that been? There's been a lot of sellout crowds there's another one, another one tomorrow night as well against Sligo Rovers mm -hmm. how important has that support been across the season? It's been huge it's been huge you know it's every home game it's it's you're always looking forward to playing in Daily Mount. I know some of the results haven't been great at home we some at the start of the season we seem to be getting better results away but you know to walk out and see the Jody and see the, the, the stand full every week it's it's unbelievable. Yeah, um, when you think back across the season and you think of all the games that you played, and there were some really crucial results across the season. Mm -hmm. Is there one or two you might pick out as standout games you think that that were really important? Yeah, I think the dirty result up there when we beat them up there in the mm -hmm. first part of the season, and obviously the Waterford result when we come back from the break when Barker got the the winner in the last minute. That they were huge results for us and gave us a little bit of belief that we actually could go on and qualify for Europe. Mm. I remember as well you getting beaten by Cork earlier this season at Dainham Park mm. and, and Dundalk as well actually around that same time and there seemed to be maybe a little bit of naivety amongst some of the younger players especially you know you could see Cork and Dundalk they were you know very professional in the way they played like you know winning free kicks maybe wasting a little bit of time and I, I think I saw that maybe with Bohemians towards the end of the season is that something you think that was learned by some of the younger players especially as the season went on yeah I think so like obviously they're only going to get better and th you know the experience this year that they've gained going into next year is only going to help them you know at the start of the season like them games I remember the Dundalk game here mm. the Cork game here they was, the Cork game especially was frustrating um, but they used their experience they, they used their know-how to win and we, we conceded from a set piece that day you can't do that against them teams so the lads are learning all the time and they're going to keep learning because they're still very, very young. I'm sure Sligo Rovers will fancy coming across here now for the last game of the season and taking a scalp off a team that's qualified for Europe. It's going to be a tough enough match, I'd say. Yeah, it will be. Look, it'll be a very tough game. Sligo have been very good consistent-wise in the second half of the season. They've got some very good players. You know, tomorrow night's going to be tough. That's why this, you know, that, like obviously, uh, I just want to go out and win tomorrow night and ensure that we win, we finish toward in the league. Yourself, You've been here so long. How important is European qualification? Like, is it is it about the prestige of being in Europe? Is it the finances? What's 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 the big thing really about this? I don't, everything really, you know. It's it's the prestige of being in it. You know, the finances, the club have been brilliant the last few years. They don't overdo themselves. You know, it's obviously going to help. You know, it'll help keep with player recruitment. It's help and keep players that he's got this year, and it's only going to help us build. I think towards the future and hopefully consistency, we can get into Europe every year. Yeah, and this, you know, obviously a lot of players signed up for next season. There was some signed up in two-year deals at the start of this season, so that stability could be really important as well for the squad next year. Yeah, it's massive, especially in our league with the turnaround of players every year. So it's great that Keith got his work done early, and hopefully more of the lads get get signed on for next year. When you see the likes of Stephen O'Donnell taking over St Pat's, are you kind of maybe thinking? Or maybe a management job might be something I could step into in sometime in the future. Oh, you never know. You know, I don't know to be honest with you. I, as I said, I never thought about anything else, just but just playing football. So I'll t I'll t I'll sit down next week after after this week and take everything in and see where we go. Great stuff. Thanks, Derek. Cheers. Thanks.